Hi everyone. Uh, today Valve put out an update to the lab, which is an amazing VR game that they released for free with the Vive, and they updated the three mini games, Longbow, Zortex, and Slingshot, and they basically added everything that the fans have been asking for in these games, which is global leaderboards, and for Longbow and Zortex, you can now play pretty much indefinitely, like as long as you can last. So um, I'm going to be playing Longbow today, it now has infinite waves and it has a new scoring system. So I'm going to start it off and then I'll talk about that as I go. Alright, so, wave one, you can see I already have a score. You get a score for each dude you kill, you get more for a headshot, and you also get five points for killing a balloon as long as your gate has full health. Because the purpose of the balloons before the scoring system was to heal your gate. So let's see. Come on. Okay. Failed at that. And there you go. Five points from the balloon. Five points from that balloon. Which puts me at 190. Which is not that much. The first eight waves of the game, by the way, are just the same as the original longbow game. But then after that, it lets you take a little rest, and then it keeps on going and going and going, and the enemies get harder, you have a higher chance to spawn armored enemies, and you spawn more enemies. So it's a really fun game now. Honestly, uh, before this update, I considered the lab games to be some of the best games on the Vive, period. The only thing that was holding them back was just their simplicity and the fact that they didn't have that much replay value because they were kind of short. But now that you can just play infinitely and you can compete with your own score or even on the global scoreboards if you're good enough, uh, that puts these games in the contention for the very best games on Vive, period. Which uh, is pretty awesome because it's a free set of games and they're all just a bunch of mini games. So I'm on wave five, trying to pop balloons in these noob waves because they're pretty easy, so I might as well, right? You also apparently uh, get extra points for not using the oil. You see there's oil on top of both gates. Whoops, I put my bow down. So. We'll see how long I can go without using oil. Oh, and by the way, every eight levels, your uh, your TNT and your oil gets reset. So it's not like you're, you uh, it's a single-use thing. You can keep using it, like I'll do right now. Lots of balloons to pop. Sweet. Okay, wave seven. is already a little tired. It's gonna take me a week or so to get back my uh, VR legs because I've been stuck on the Oculus Rift for quite some time waiting for my vibe to get RMA'd. But it is good to be back and I'm so happy that Valve is updating this game. Eight of eight. So this used to be the final wave, and as you can see, it's pretty easy so far, so the fact that this was the whole game was a little disappointing. And pretty much everyone I talked to and showed the game to was like, oh man, I wish they would add more waves or, you know, more replayability, and here you go. Oh, uh, little assholes. There we go. Oh no, my gate's taking damage. Let's get some heals. So, it gives you a little break every eight waves, which is nice because this game can be a little tiring on your arms. So, you can sit back, relax, try to shoot balloons. These balloons that float off every eight waves don't actually uh, give you five points. They're just there for target practice, even the red ones. So, when you're ready to go, you shoot this little dude with the flag. And then he actually does give you points, so you want to aim for a headshot. I kind of failed at that. 
and you can get the balloons too. All right, so wave nine. Let's do this. Oops. Now when they're running down this lane, that's probably the easiest shot you can have, so you always want to try to take advantage of that. The other thing, you can always look over at the scoreboard and see how you're currently doing. Well, actually, I guess it's showing my last score, so never mind. <laughs> but once I get past that score, um, it'll show me how I'm currently doing. So it updates in real time, which is pretty cool. So my last score, I got to wave 24. Hopefully I can do better than that this time, because that was like number 200 on the global leaderboard, which is kind of sad, considering this update just came out. Oops, I accidentally shot a barrel. Ah, oh, so close. Dang it. Oh no. Okay, gotta heal. It's so fun now that it's like a continuous thing and you don't know you're just gonna easily blow through the entire game. I mean, I've probably played this game a good uh, five or six times in its original form, even though it was super easy. It's just really, really fun. Like, the bow mechanics in this game are probably the best of any game on Vive, and there's a lot of games that use the bow and arrow. Give up! <laughs> Come on! Ooh! Hello! Okay. Alright, there's a lot coming for the bridge. Aw, oh, man! Dang, I'm just grazing that balloon. Get this one. Come on. There we go. Okay. Whoops. This is kind of scary. But no problem. Get it. Ah, oh, so close. Okay. Can't focus on the balloons too much as, as you get higher waves because then you're just going to get overwhelmed. Whoops, I'm touching something. The couch, I guess. Okay, so made it to wave 16. Oh. <laughs> I was going to take a rest, but then I realized I got to get the balloons. Come on, come on. Dang it, I failed. Only got one balloon there. Alright, I'm ready to go. Let's go for the headshot. Nope. Looked more like a neck shot, unfortunately. Okay. Man, missing all my shots here. They made this one easy on me. They all ran down the easy lane. I was not aiming for that balloon, but I'm glad I hit it. Oh. Sweet. So the balloons, I mean, they give you five points, so they're not that important, considering each dude gives you like 50 points, but I'm sure it adds up over time. This 
so this isn't the only game that got updated. Uh, Zortex got updated also. It apparently has a completely separate mode now. So it's like the infinite mode. And by the way, Zortex is like a shump game. I have a video of it up, of the original version. I'm gonna make another video of it tomorrow to show off the update. Uh, but it also has an infinite mode where there's no bosses or anything. The enemies just keep spawning and keeps getting harder. And uh, that seems really cool too because that is, uh, I'm getting too caught up talking about another game. Okay, whoops. Because Zortex is a shump game, and the fun part of those games is when they get really intense and when it's just like bullet hell everywhere. That's why they're called bullet hell games. Uh, so I'm looking forward to playing that one too. Anyways, let's get our head back in this game. Because I almost screwed up that last time. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Still... That's right. Okay, gotta heal my door now. These balloons. See, when your door takes damage, instead of giving you 5 points, they give you 5 HP on your door. Sweet. Oh no, I have no barrels. Oh my god, I'm so screwed. Come on, come on. I have a lot of door HP at least, but I don't I don't think so. I don't think this is gonna happen. Nope, nope, nope. Man, I only made it 22 waves. I didn't even beat my last four, so I don't even know how good I did on the leaderboard. But there you have it. Uh, <laughs> that's the update for the lab. It's an awesome update. It makes this game so much more fun, so much more replayable. And I'm gonna be playing this game a lot, as well as the other games in the lab. So stay tuned because I'm going to be putting out videos for Zortex tomorrow and then I'm going to put out one for the other game which is called Slingshot which I haven't put any videos out of yet so that'll be fun. Uh, thank you for watching, have a great day, and goodbye.